All right, so previously we finished off with the Legends customization. In this video, we're going to be covering the Node's default category. Now, changing setting under this tab is going to affect every single node within the network. As always, within the sample report, you already have your pre-built example that you can explore. But for us, we can open up the training view and actually build the chart and go through the settings one by one. So first things first, we're going to add an instance of the network visual. We're going to resize it. We can also disable the background and the title because we don't use those. Here on the actual setup, we're going to be using region and country as our nodes, and we're going to be using total sales as our measurement. Now, once we created the instance of the chart, we can open up the formatting options and open up also nodes default category. Now, the first setting you can see here is going to be node types. And the default one here is going to be shapes. The other option that we're offering here is text. The difference between them is that when you are using shapes, you essentially can define the labels to be inside or outside, and you can even split them apart. So for example, have node labels inside and values outside. Whereas if you choose the other option, which is text, what happens is every single label that you had for the node is going to be brought in into the node and it's going to automatically resize. So this is going to be really good for those cases where, for example, you're describing some steps regarding a process flow or something like that. Now, going back to the shapes, one thing that we can also customize are the shapes for the nodes. So by default, this is going to be sitting on circle, but the other options that you have here are rectangle and also a droplet. So whatever suits your situation, choose one and just go with it. Afterwards, you have your color mode. So what are the options here? Auto, fixed, and dynamic. With auto, what happens is the chart automatically picks a color for each individual category you have added under the nodes field. The fixed allows you to define one particular color for all the nodes, regardless of how many levels or how many columns have you added to the nodes field. And the third option here is dynamic. At first, it might not seem that there's any difference between dynamic and auto. The difference here is that if I go to the fields list and I add color for nodes color, you can see it automatically recolors. If I go back to the formatting options and open up the setting and change dynamic to auto, you can see that these colors are no longer readable. So what happens here is that dynamic takes the colors from the field, auto assigns them automatically, regardless of what you have provided in other fields. So we're just going to change this back to dynamic. Now, moving forward, we have our radiuses, so minimum and maximum. By default, these are going to be sitting on 10 and 100. So what this allows you to do is to, for example, resize the nodes based on the value. So higher value means bigger node. You can actually also achieve a reverse behavior. So if you want to do that, you actually need to swap the values. What I mean by this is maximum, for example, we're going to be changing to 10 and then minimum to 100. I'm just going to reset the chart so it fits into the frame. And now you can see, for example, that this node is really small. But if we zoom in, we can actually see that that's 1.85 million, which is the highest value we have in this network. So the higher value nodes are becoming a lot smaller than the smaller ones. So based on what you're trying to find within the network, you can adjust the node radiuses. If you want a situation where all the nodes are exactly the same size, you can do that as well. For the max node radius, we're just going to add another zero so that the min and max radiuses are exactly the same. The next settings that we have here are going to be value locations for both the value itself and for the node name label. So the two options you have here are inside and outside. One thing that you can do here is you can switch them around. You can have either value or name outside or inside, so depending on the use case. One other thing that you can do here is you can actually place both of them, for example, to be outside. Once you do that, we have another setting that appears. That is called label format which allows you to choose how are you going to represent both of these values outside or inside the label. Now, the last two settings that we have here are going to be display units and also value decimals. By default, both of these are going to be sitting in auto. So what they're doing is they're reading the data model and trying to showcase what you have provided through the data itself. As for the display unit, you can choose a shortening for the values. So for example, in this case, you can see that I have millions, thousands, but I just want to have sort of like a cohesive experience here. So what I'm going to do is change everything into millions. And the value decimals, what it allows me to do is change the number of decimals 
for the values displayed in that particular visual without touching the format of the original column. So for example, if I put this on four, you can see that I have a million with four decimal numbers. If I look at the table right here, I'm using the same columns, but the formats are completely different. So this allows you to further customize the chart appearance and other visuals that you have within the report. All right, that's gonna be it for the nodes default category, and I'll see you in the next video.